morning guys today's video is all about my corn silk <laughs> guys these are the silk from the corn you saw the video where i harvest my nice corn from the allotment earlier this week but guys this are this is just some some of the silk that i've saved guys the thing is most of us most of us are familiar with corn yes but most of us we take out the husk of the corn and we put it along with the silk into the bin right i used to do that for years guys so all uh, and the smell of the silk is so nice it's a nice little oh it smells so good yeah so this is the silk guys so i was oxing out the corn yesterday i was like I haven't done a video for you guys on corn silk as yet. So I need to do the video. So it's just like a nice like a silk that you get from your corn. So while you're oxing out your corn, so you have the nice corn there. And it, it's like dolls, you know, when, when you're, you, well, for, for the female viewers only, when we're tiny and we used to play with dolls, I have the nice like silky hair like that. So that's the corn silk. But the thing is, guys, as I said, I grew up in Jamaica, so I grew around corn, roast corn, boiled corn, you name it. I always have corn encountering somehow, but I never know about the corn silk, guys. Honestly, I did not know nothing about corn silk. I just thought it's parts that are just tossed in the bin, use the corn and all those things. But now, guys, I'm here to enlighten you, oh, enlighten those who don't know or didn't know like myself. I learned about the corn silk about four or five years ago. I had this book, guys. Oh. I have this book. Probably the wrong way around for you to see. But basically, this is an encyclopedia for natural remedies. Okay? So now I'm into my like natural remedies and eating what I grow and all those things. So this encyclopedia, so so good. I'm gonna put the name in the description for those who want to check it out because i think the camera is the other way around so probably can i see it properly so i was going through the herbs so this is actually classified as a herb okay it's a herb so and you can put it in a salad guys just cut it up it doesn't taste of anything it's like the chai tea the chocho it doesn't taste of anything you just cut it up sprinkle it on your salad and eat it and you get all of the goodies there's so much things in this thing guys there's iron there's potassium anyone that have a U uti so if they have a uti guys most of them go to the doctor and they give you antibiotics and things like that research anywhere you look for corn silk uti comes up this help with any Unary, we kind of call the word this helps with any <laughs> infection you have there and they clear it up instantly. So, I'm going to read what I found out a few years ago in this book. So, it's a pity I turn the camera the other way around, but here you can see they have the corn silk. So, when I was reading, I was thinking, Wow, this knowledge is power because I'm throwing away all my herb, my medicine, I didn't know the benefits of it. So it says that for the corn silk, the purposes of the corn silk is the best, that's what it says in the book, the best single herb for UTI. Can you believe that? It said the best, not one of. Yeah? So it goes on to talk about kidney and bladder problem. Seriously, guys? You know? I know people in the past who had kidney stones and they going to the doctors and things like that. Guys, the herb, the medicine is in their garden. I was so excited when I was reading about this. And the other thing was, in according to here, so anything with kidney stone or if I have excess um, uric acid or any urine infection, anything, bladder problem, is prostate cancer. So this is good for the prostate. So any anyone that have prostate cancer, silk. Guys, it also lowers your cholesterols. It's good if you have high blood pressure. It's good for any inflammation in the body. 
this is so good guys so so good can you believe that before i did this video i was searching doing some extra research apart from this book and it states that research scientists have actually researched that um the corn silk help with prostate cancer so men listen up okay scientists have discovered go and do your own research though guys please do i'm not a doctor and it proves that corn silk helps with prostate cancer the humble the corn silk that most of us would have encountered probably every year when ending up summer come either we grow the corn ourselves or we purchase it in the supermarket we would have come across the corn silk and it's nice to play with when it gets everywhere in the house and make a mess and then I have to clean it up so the book continue to talk about mainly the carpal tunnel and any prostate disorder they are recommending the corn silk okay guys and the thing is it's so funny this book is nice to have it goes about natural remedies and things like that and the thing is we for one because yesterday i was asked about the corn so i said i'll leave everything until the video so there's the ask and now i'm gonna toss this out toss this out as well but not anymore i'm gonna dry them i'm gonna preserve them and i'm gonna have them hopefully for next day so silky just a silky thread that you find on the corn and i'm sure all of us have seen it before and guys you make a nice cup of tea so you can see the color change already all you do you take a bit of the corn silk wash it this is just pure water i don't normally take sugar in my tea but like when i have the stevia plant outside sometimes i put a couple leaves in there but there's nothing in there but make sure we want organic corn okay that's the only drawback because if it's gmo corn or other corn that's not grown or organic collie then you know they spray it heavily so basically with all the spray and the chemical you'll be then putting it in your body which is not good so try and source some organic corn i put nothing on mine guys this is as organic as it comes actually this corn the popping corn that was on the allotment did not even get fed any organic feed you know sometimes i use a seaweed fertilizer or sometimes even use a comfort or the nettle tea but this was fed nothing okay it's it's like you get the smell of the corn it's just a slight taste of corn it's a re um, refreshing brew of tea you probably can see my corn silk in there so that's all you do guys nothing else i've seen people dehydrate it then just blitz it into a powder preserve it that way i've seen people um um what i call it now when you you did your vegetable what i call that thing oh my brain went locked up to there but anyhow i've seen people done so many things with it they dehydrate it they put it on a salad they just do so many things with it you can put it in your curry you know like how you use the baby sweet corn when you're making your stir fry this is a good addition so guys i'm here to tell you stop wasting your silk your corn silk your corn here don't waste it anymore guys corn silk is very nutritious for us it helps with a lot of um illness that we may have so do your own research guys and see how this beautiful what god nature have given us how we can incorporate it into our daily lives to help with ailments so until next time guys from my corn silk to your garden take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell